Season 5 starts tomorrow, November 3rd, here on MLB 23, and until December 21st, that means we can't use set 3 cards anymore. So I'm going to be using my favorite set 3 cards in ranked seasons today, one last time for season 4. In the comments, I want to know your favorite set 3 card, the card that you're going to miss the most. I think for me, it's got to be this Cattell Marte. I'm thinking we should get a good one since he set that hit streak record in the postseason, but this is the set three card I'm gonna miss the most. We've got 99 Cattell Marte from the Extreme Program leading off, Andrew McCutcheon in center field, this Moonshot Program, Schwarber is my DH, 99 Ellie as my shortstop, Adley as my catcher, J Ram as my third baseman, Corbin Carroll in left, Ronald in right, and the Lightning Cody Bellinger at first. On the bench, I have the All Star game Jonah Heim, Silver Slugger Rafi Devers, this Jackie Robinson card. I hope we get another 99 Jackie in season five. I also have Mike Piazza to round off the bench. For the rotation, of course, we have 99 John Donaldson. Roy Holiday, one of my favorite pitchers last year and this year. Lightning Shohei, Paul Skeens, and then the perfect game, Matt Kane. I didn't use a ton of set three relievers, but I had to make sure to throw in Yoel Piamps right here. One of my best relievers this entire year. Billy the Kid was solid. Dennis Eckersley. And then we got some other guys like Josh Hader, Ken Lee, Devin Williams, Pete Fairbanks, and Giovanni Gallegos. For ranked seasons, I'm currently at 923. I guess maybe making a push towards a 1,000 rating, but we will be playing on Legend difficulty. I think I'm going to try changing pitchers every inning. I'm the away team, so I'm hitting first, facing the big unit, but I get to use John Donaldson. And we're striking out with Cattell, 102 on Legend off of Randy Johnson. That's kind of hard to react to. It is my first game of the day, so I need to get warmed up a little bit. But man, I'm kind of ready for the next season that starts tomorrow. Be back on Hall of Fame. I thought Andrew McCutcheon went yard. Good timing, PCI right there, but not quite enough. Round number two. And that's a perfect first inning for Randy Johnson. John Donaldson on the mound for us in the bottom of the first. We get to face Mike Cameron. And if everything goes according to plan, I think each pitcher for me is going to get about one inning on the mound today. And I'm hoping everybody, including John Donaldson, just throws a perfect inning whenever they get a chance. 0-2 to Mike Cameron. It's legend, so I got to go with his fastball. Triple digits. And it's strike three, 103, that's so nasty. And Juan Soto's flying out for round number two. And that should be on number three, there we go, right? Yeah, perfect first inning for John Donaldson. I think Ellie's gonna break up the perfect game for the big units. There we go, man. I'm so sad I'm not gonna be able to use 99 Ellie until December 21st. The good news is, new Call of Duty campaign today. The campaigns usually are really good, especially on this Modern Warfare series. Adley Rushman should advance the runner. Is he going to try to tag me? Yeah, 99 speed. You're not going to beat the race. And we have everybody's save runners on the corners. Apparently, Fortnite's bringing back the OG map. I will say, as we strike out with J-Ram, the only time I'm really ever playing Fortnite is with some real-life friends, and I'm only ever playing the zero build mode. I'm not really a fan of the building on there anymore. Everybody's just way too good at it. I haven't been able to keep up. Corbin Carroll's up to bat. I'm gonna bunt with Corbin Carroll. 99 speed, not going home, because look at this. Now he's gonna throw to third. Now we're gonna go back to third, and we're out. Okay, so maybe my base running's not gonna be that great in this inning. But with the OG map coming out and zero build, I think it could actually be a lot of fun to play some Fortnite again. I guess I'll just have to wait and see. Ronald Acuna Jr. coming up. Two on, two down here in the second inning facing the big unit. And that's strike three. Got me looking. I thought it was going to be a ball. No runs, but at least we got that first hit. John Donaldson had his perfect first inning. And now I'm going to go to this 99 Roy Holiday. See if he could have a perfect bottom of the second. So far, so good. Three pitches. He's got one strikeout. Mookie's flying out for out number two. One more out and we got another perfect inning. And that's gone. Wait a minute. It's a perfect, perfect homer. 
And all of a sudden, I'm down to my final 21 ounce in this game. We've had some good swings, though. I think we should be able to get at least a couple runs. I need Roy Holiday, though, to not allow any more. And that's another perfect, perfect. Okay, maybe I'm throwing too many strikes. My opponent has just been swinging at everything. And they weren't really able to seem to catch up to anything. And then now we got back-to-back -back perfects. I should probably get him to chase a bit more. Stop leaving these pitches in the heart of the plates. And besides the homer, that wasn't really that bad of an inning. After two, we're down by one. Let's try to get that one back as soon as possible. We have Lightning Belly leading this off and then back to the top of my lineup. On a full count to Cody Bellinger, the leadoff runner is on base. The tying run is on base. And we strike out with Cattell Marte. Okay, I'm still warming up. I'm still trying to get used to this 103 on Legend from Randy Johnson. Wild pitch. Runner is advancing into scoring position. Only one out. And that's strike three. That's already six of the first eight outs have been strikeouts for the big units. And make it seven of the first nine. Okay, so we're going to bring in a new pitcher here. Bottom of the third coming up. We've had John Donaldson and Roy Holiday. Mr. Roy Holiday ended up losing our perfect game. We're going to see if Shohei Otani can keep it at a one-run deficit here. And we're striking out Cattell Marte for round number one. I really think if I could find a way to stop giving up homers, which part of that is just not throwing so many pitches in the zone. I don't really like when my opponent's work counts. I don't want to throw pitches that are like way out of the zone and maybe have them lay off of it. But I got to realize that if it's close to the zone, but not in it, maybe they'll chase a pitch. I'm throwing it more so pitching the contact right like i'm throwing pitches like this trying to get him to roll over it but if he would have made contact of the pc i would have been there some good timing that's an easy pitch for him to hit a home run instead of me you know maybe trying to run a cutter inside or get a sinker below the zone i think i just need to be a little bit smarter on the mound and i would definitely be a better pitcher now part of that is just impatience right i want to try to get through the pitching as fast as possible with that being said, Shohei Otani, that was a pretty quick, perfect bottom of the third inning because I like to hit. When I play MLB The Show, I'm not playing so that I can pitch. I'm playing so that I can hit. If there was a way to make it so the CPU could throw the pitches for me, choose what to throw, when and where, I would have that set 100% of the time. So all I got to do is hit and maybe be the one that fields, which is kind of funny to me though, because in real life, I liked everything, right? Like I love to hit. I love to be up to bat when I was playing baseball, but my favorite position was pitcher. I loved to pitch in real life, but for some reason, and then will be the show. I'm just not a fan of it as we strike out with Ellie who had a double in his last AB. And then I strike out with Adley. All right, I promise y'all from here on out, I'm not striking out as much. I'm going to have way better at bats, way better swings, because Randy's already had nine strikeouts here in the fourth. And we strike out with J-Ram. My thing is, I felt like I had good timing. I'm just smashing the PCI way down, way up, way left, way right. I'm not being gentle with it. I'm moving it way too much. It's time for Paul Skeens to see if he could have a scoreless, a perfect inning here. Three pitches, one strikeout. So we're getting a lot of strikeouts of our own. I'm just kind of sad that I gave up that home run. I should have thrown the pitches more out of the zone as I'm still trying to get him to make contact and just get out. I'm throwing it right around the strike zone. And we're striking out Carlos Delgado. And we're striking out Mookie Betts on a fastball down the middle. After four, it's still 1-0. I think it's time for me to start hitting a bit better. And he hits Corbin Carroll. Okay, so with two strikes, I get a leadoff base runner here in the fifth. Ronald's my number eight hitter. 99 speed. I might have to try to steal or maybe do a hit and run at some point. Fastball on the first pitch. I'm going to try to steal right here. I think we got a good jump. And he's in there safely. So we have the tying run and scoring position. Nobody down. I need Ronald to just at least advance him to third. That's strike three. Oh, no. I thought that was going to run inside and be a ball. Cody Bellinger comes up. 
one out, one on in scoring position. I think I'm going to try stealing again with Corbin Carroll. And it's in the dirt a little bit, but he had a nice scoop. And we're out at third. Two outs now here in the top of the fifth inning. I guess I shouldn't have tried to steal on Randy and his slurve. And we strike out to end the fifth inning. It's time for my final starting pitcher of the day. I'm going with this perfect game, Matt Kane. He actually was great for me. I haven't really been using him recently, but I checked and in, you know, 20, 30 online innings, his ERA was maybe 2.5 or something real nice like that in online games. Striking out Trevor's story. I think he might have been the one that hit the homers. So that's nice for me to see that we struck him out right there. And then we strike out Cody Bellinger. And Matt Kane strikes out the side. A perfect fifth inning for the perfect game card. I thought I just had a home run. Wait, wait, wait. What's the timing? Am I way early but above it or what? So a little bit early, but PCI not there. And a lot of these swings today that I'm having, I have earlier good timing. And then the PCI just gets smacked. I'm not being gentle with it. I'm not making these smooth movements. And I think PCI is going to be right there, but we're going to be way too late on that one. Yeah, PCI perfectly on it. Too late for the timing. So now we just got to find the middle ground where the PCI is there. And we got the good timing. Two outs here in the sixth. I'm quickly down to my final outs in this game. I'm still losing by one. I got to find a way to score at least one run. And we strike out with Schwarber. Maybe I'm going to be happy to say bye to these set three cards. I think more so I'm going to be happy to say bye to Legend Difficulty. I'm going to go with, since it's switch righty and then a lefty, I'm going to try this 99 Billy the Kid. Striking out Cattell Marte. I've actually pitched really well. I mean, obviously my opponent has. I'm not surprised by either of it, though. Being on Legend Difficulty... It's much harder to hit on Legend versus any other difficulty in the game. And I'm just regretting giving up that solo home run earlier. Because right now, that is the difference maker. And besides the homer, I've pitched pretty well. That's another strikeout here. Lefty, lefty. And we strike out Juan Soto. After six, still 1-0. Both of us still only have two hits. One of my two hits is thanks to this 99 overall, Ellie De La Cruz. I thought he got another hit. He did. So just like that, the time runs on base. This time, I'm not going to run myself into outs. I've been making a lot of dumb base running decisions recently. That's stopping right now. Season five is going to be a brand new twin. I missed it with Adley. That's a fastball nearly down the middle, you know. Seven innings in, and I still haven't been able to find my swing on Legend versus Randy. I decided to try stealing. Ellie's pretty tall. He gets in there easily. Two strikes now on J-Ram. I would love a base hit that just ties the game. And it's a base hit that just ties the game. 99 speed. No way he's thrown out. Okay, now I really got to make sure I'm pitching well. Not allowing any more home runs. Not giving up any pitches down the middle. But all of a sudden, let's try to take the lead. And that's strike three. Yo, Randy Johnson, 16 strikeouts. I hope y'all are still enjoying this video. This is pitch number 100. And that's one thing about my videos is I'm not only going to be showing y'all the wins. I'm not only going to show y'all the games where I'm playing. Well, apparently we're going to have videos every now and then where I'm striking out 16 times in one game. And I hope y'all do still at least enjoy it somewhat. This is me saying bye to my set three cards. I don't think they're going to miss me. I'm going to miss some of them. But after this performance, I'm not sure how they're feeling. Three and two, two down. Runners going on the pitch, and we foul it off. I got to be ready, though. Three and two, two down. Runners going on the pitch. Jose Ramirez is 89 speed. If we could get a hit, something into the gap, I think we could take the lead here. Three and two to Ronald. Runners going. Here we go. And Ronald, please. This is good timing on Legend. Let's go, Ronald. He gives us the lead. See, we've struck out 16 times. But if you're still watching, you get to see us take the lead. Two to one all of a sudden in the top of inning number seven. 
And we strike out with Cody Bellinger, but not before two runs come across to score. Now I am nine outs away from winning this game. Switch lefty righty, and I think I want to go to Dennis Eckersley here. And we're striking out Adley. Only eight outs to go here. And we strike out Delgado. And Mookie Betts flies out, out number three after seven. It's two to one. Let's try to add on to this lead. Ryan Helsley comes in relief. And Cattell Marte, who was over three with three strikeouts, got some good timing on a hanging circle change. And we just missed it. Round number one. And then Andrew McCutcheon strikes out. Yo, I really am impressed by the top players of this game. The guys who can hit over 400 on legend difficulty versus these pitchers throwing triple digits. Maybe I just need to get used to it and expect fastball, but try to react breaking ball. Cause I sat fastball right there, moved the PCI gently, and Schwarber gets a perfect, perfect bomb. So a solo home run doesn't tie it anymore. And look at Ellie. Oh my goodness. No, wait. I tried to react to the breaking ball and I'm way too late. Oh, I thought I just had another perfect, perfect homer. Ellie was looking for his third hit of the game, but he's going to end our half of the eighth inning. Thanks to Kyle Schwarber. We have a much bigger lead. A solo home run's not going to tie the game now. We're facing Trevor Story, who already has a home run. And I think I'm going to go to this Devin Williams card. I'm going to use Yoel as my closer today. I think that's probably the best move. And we strike out Trevor Story. Cody Bellinger to Cattell Marte. He's not doing anything with his bat, but at least he's got some good D. One of my favorite cards of this entire year. The Cattell Marte from the Extreme Program. One of my few super fractors. I noticed that because of the sets and seasons, I have way less super fractors than I did last year. And it also made me think, what's the point of having the parallels if the cards are going to go away anyways, like I'm spending all this time, the season's finally over. I finally got Ketel Marte to parallel five, but now I can't use him anymore. And it's just kind of a bad feeling. I really think the content, at least for me, would have been way better this year if the sets and seasons didn't have the time gate so i could still use my set one my set two cards if that never went away i think i would have liked the content way better this year as we strike out with adley rushman we've got a full count to j ram and it's ball four i think if randy johnson was not the starting pitcher i might have done a bit better at the plate today Ever since he was added to the game as a new legend last year, the year before, whenever it was, all of them are just kind of blurring together at this point. The last like three, four years all just kind of blend together a little bit. But if Randy Johnson wasn't the starting pitcher, I think I would have done way better at the plate today. Oh, we struck out with Corbin Carroll. Out number two. One more out here in the ninth inning. I wouldn't mind getting the top of my lineup back up again. But Ronald says, sorry, that's not going to happen. On our way to the bottom of the ninth inning, I've got a two-run lead. And one of my favorite relievers this entire year is about to come in and try to get the final three outs. And this card, this Yoel Piamps, he just has one of the nastiest sinkers. I mean, that looked to me, just to my naked eyes, like it broke from the left-hand side of the batter's box all the way to the right-hand side. And if I try to maybe painted on that corner it's going to go from the batter's box to the corner just look at how much that moves and it's at 97 so something way inside on him should probably jam him pretty easy and there's a reason this card's been one of my favorite relievers this entire year he's just been disgusting on the mound as we get a base hit i thought he was just going to feel that one and it was going to be an easy out number two now a home run ties the game. Wait a minute. It is not over yet. There's no clock in baseball. We did jam him a little bit, but I can't hang a pitch. I can't give up a home run. And we strike out Juan Soto. One out away from winning a game, getting even closer to a 1,000 rating. 
And we strike down Adley. We win this game. And Corbin Carroll gets super fractured on his final day that he can be used. It wasn't pretty, but at least we got the win. I hope y'all enjoyed. Like and subscribe for the daily uploads. Season 5 starts tomorrow. I will see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Peace out.